Hey guys, welcome back. We've been hit by a tsunami of brand new polls that have been released today. I'm going to touch on nine polls in this video. Going to open up with the national picture of the 2020 Democratic primary. We have three of those. And then also a number of Super Tuesday state-specific results as well. So some interesting data here. And by and large, what we're getting is continuing to be a situation where the Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders is in a very strong front runner position, whereas Joe Biden is continuing to take significant steps back and it's starting to look like Michael Bloomberg could end up being the top competitor occupying that centrist moderate type lane in the Democratic primary against the more progressive Sanders as opposed to Biden. Everyone thought that that was going to be the dynamic that we saw at the top of this race between the centrist and the progressive. But given the weakness that Biden has shown early on, it's looking like the funds that Bloomberg has behind his campaign, it looks like he could be a real threat to overtake Biden and be that serious contender at the top along with Sanders. So we're going to start off with the national polls. This one is coming from NBC News in the Wall Street Journal. And Sanders staying flat right there at the top, continuing to show a lot of strength at 27% of support, but not gaining from the prior numbers that had come out towards the end of the month of January, whereas Biden completely falls off a cliff, loses 11 percentage points. He was losing to Bernie by one point in the last poll, but in this one, he's now losing to Sanders by 12 percentage points, whereas Michael Bloomberg took a step forward. He gains five percentage points up to 14, and then you have Elizabeth Warren. She receded back a point to 14 as well, tied there with Bloomberg in third place. Buttigieg gains six points. He's up to 13 percent. Klobuchar gains a couple of points, up to seven, and then Steyer is at two percent, and that's how the whole field shapes up with this national NBC News poll. Now moving over to the next national poll. In this week's poll from Ipsos and Reuters, in contrast to where we were just one week ago, Bernie Sanders takes a fairly decent size step forward here. In first place, he gains five points from last week. He's now at 25% of support. And it's actually now Michael Bloomberg who is in second place. He gains three percentage points. He's up to 17%, whereas Joe Biden takes Quite a big step back. He loses 5% from where he was a week ago. He was at 18. Now he's down to 13%. Pete Buttigieg is next in line. He's bringing in 11% of support. That's three points up from where he was. And Elizabeth Warren is at 9%. She loses a couple of points. And then we have Amy Klobuchar wrapping things up here at five percentage points. She gains two points from where she was a week ago. And now another national poll that has really positive signs for Bernie Sanders as well as Michael Bloomberg. This one coming from Survey USA. In leading the pack, we have Bernie at 29%. He gains eight percentage points from the prior result, which was in mid January. Michael Bloomberg also gaining eight percentage points. He is in second place in this instance, tied with Joe Biden at 18%. Joe Biden, a significant step back. He loses 14 percentage points from the prior poll where he was at 32. This one, he's all the way down to just 18. Things are looking really rough right now for Joe Biden. In many of these national polls, he has been taking these significant steps back over the past month or so. And then we have Pete Buttigieg next in line at 12%. He gains three points. Another poor sign from Elizabeth Warren where she loses four percentage points. She's down there at 10%. Klobuchar is able to gain a couple of points, up to four. And then Tom Steyer loses a point. He is at 2%. And the rest of the polls here, the next six are all state-specific results. So the next one is also a Survey USA. And this one is coming from North Carolina, of course, one of those Super Tuesday states. And it's competitive at the top. The prior result that we got from Survey USA out of the state of North Carolina was all the way back in early August. Some big differences from where we were back at that point in time. So Sanders and Bloomberg tied at the top, each at 22%. Of course, this is the first time that Bloomberg is in this result. So he's up 22% from the zero points that he was uh, not being in that prior poll. But Bernie Sanders, he gained seven points. He was at 15, and now he's up to 22, whereas Joe Biden loses 16 percentage points. He was at 36% back in early August, and this one, he finds himself in third place at 20%, and then Pete Buttigieg gained six points, up to 11. Elizabeth Warren loses 5%. She is now there at eight points, and then also Klobuchar, she pulled at zero in the prior result. This time, she is up to 5%. And we have another Survey USA result, this one coming out of the state of California. This one, in comparison to the prior result, which came out a month ago in the middle portion of January, Bernie Sanders in first place, he gains five percentage points up to 25. Bloomberg gains 15 percentage points in second place at 21%. 
And then another disaster here for Joe Biden. He loses 15%. He was at 30 points in a clear first place in the prior Survey USA result out of the state of California, another very important Super Tuesday state. He's in third place at 15%. Buttigieg gains four points up to 12. Another very poor sign from Warren where she loses 11 percentage points down to nine. And then Klobuchar gains four points up to 6% of support in the state of California. And we have another California poll, this one coming from Public Policy Institute of California. And in relation to the prior numbers from this resource, which also came back in the middle portion of January, Bernie Sanders is the only candidate who's clearing that 15 percentage point threshold. And if this is what actually happened in California and Super Tuesday, then Sanders would get a vast majority and chunk of those 415 pledged delegates. Now, of course, if you have candidates that are really close to that 15 percentage point number, but not quite getting there statewide, there's almost certainly going to be individual congressional districts where there's where they're eclipsing that 15% number. So they would likely, in that instance, get something in the way of those pledged delegates. But nonetheless, on the statewide level, if Sanders is the only one eclipsing that 15-point number, that would be an extremely good thing for his campaign in terms of bringing in a ton of those pledged delegates out of the state on Super Tuesday. But in this one, we can see Sanders, he gains five points from the prior result, which came out a month ago. He's up to 32% in first place. Biden and Elizabeth Warren both lose 10 percentage points. You have Biden next in line at 14 points, Elizabeth Warren at 13. So in the prior result that we had from this particular poll, Sanders was at 27, Biden was at 24, and Warren was at 23. You can see a vast difference and change that we have in this one where Bloomberg in the prior result was at just one point. He's up 11% and in a position where he's now at 12 percentage points. And then Pete Buttigieg, also right there at 12 percentage points, he gains six points from the prior result. Klobuchar gains one point up to five. And then Tom Steyer is at three percentage points. The next state here is Maine, another one of those Super Tuesday contests. And Bernie Sanders, you would expect him to do pretty well up in the Northeast. He's very well known in that region of the country. And he's in first place in this instance at 25% of support, followed by Buttigieg, who's in second place at 16 Bloomberg in third at 14, Joe Biden at 12, Elizabeth Warren, not a great sign for her up in the Northeast. Of course, she is the senator from Massachusetts. She really needs to do well in that area if she's going to have any shot at going on and being competitive in this thing. But given the trends that we've seen from Warren, particularly in a number of these recent polls where she's taken big steps back, another poor sign for her in this one where she's at 9%, Klobuchar at four points. Gabbard at three and Tom Steyer at two. Of course, Andrew Yang no longer in the race, but he was able to grab 2% in this instance as well. So just a couple of more polls here. Moving on to the next one. This one coming out of Oklahoma, another Super Tuesday state. And finally, we get a result where Sanders actually isn't in first place. Let me zoom in here. In contrast from this Sooner survey, the last one was actually all the way back towards the end of July. So we've come a long way since that prior poll. Bloomberg wasn't in that one, but in this one, he's in first place at 20%. Bernie Sanders gains nine points from that prior result, which was a really poor one for him where he was only at five points. In this one, he's at 14. Biden, he was leading in the prior poll at 26%, but he loses 14 points, now down to 12. Buttigieg gains five points up to 11. Elizabeth Warren also falling back four percentage points. She is at eight. Klobuchar gains five up to six. Other candidates at seven, likely not voting, was at 14. And then undecided was at 9%. And last but not least, well, maybe it is least in this instance because all the other polls were a bit more relevant to upcoming elections on Super Tuesday or just the national landscape of the Democratic primary, where this one is out of the state of New Jersey, which is one of the final states to hold their primary towards the end of this process. And we can see a competitive race at the top. Bernie Sanders leading the way at 25% among registered voters. In second place, competitive there along with Sanders at the top was Bloomberg at 23%. And then you have Biden at 16 in third place, followed by Buttigieg at 10%, Elizabeth Warren at 8%, and then Amy Klobuchar was able to grab three with Gabbard at zero. And Tom Steyer is also here sitting at 2%. So that wraps up the nine brand new polls that I want to touch on that have been released today. If you want to continue to get polling update videos, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. I appreciate you guys stopping by and I hope to see you back here for future videos.